guys, what's up? It's Kathy, and I'm back with another process video, and I recorded this video before Christmas, but I'm only getting to record the voiceover today on Boxing Day, and <clears throat> it's kind of noisy and busy in my house right now because everybody's home, so bear with me if you hear a lot of going-ons. That's what's going on. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just kind of showing you guys the idea I had, which was some of this leftover felt I had from a project I did a long time ago and I wanted to make some trees out of felt and black thread. So I end up making four. Those are my trees. I don't end up using the really brown, brown. I, I Normally I would have done like three trees, but I did three trees. I did them in mustard gray and the beige and then I really wanted to get a green one in there just to bring in, just so it didn't look so autumn-y because this one's actually a Christmas layout. So I used the black thread to kind of, you know, mimic the branches and stuff and just make them look like simplistic drawn trees. Um, and I had this idea that I was going to do these little, uh, almost like a grid design around. And uh, I quickly lose the luster for doing this, this grid design and I switched to a different design. Excuse me. But I'm going to work on it for a little while before I give up and go and do something else. And that's a Jen Hadfield uh, 6x6 paper pad. <clears throat> I cannot remember what it's called though because I put all my paper pads away again. Uh, but it was kind of the fall line that she had this year um, from Pebbles. And the and the ampersand little piece is actually from an older Heidi Swap. I think it was supposed to be kind of a December daily piece and that's like my one leftover card uh, craft stock tag I don't have any more and that a perfect day was from an unfinished layout that uh, I ripped off of the of the layout and it's from Webster's pages from like a year or two ago I don't end up using it but I, ha I really love this this other paper and it's from basic gray and I used it in a previous layout and then I realized oh man these two pictures would look really good if they were just lined up together of course they don't have borders because I printed them like at the full size on a four by six so I have to use white cardstock to make a border for them because since I'm putting them down on busy paper I want them to have a border and this is just paper that I tried to print something on and it kept getting stuck in the printer so it's useless otherwise, but there was enough that I could. I'm bringing in kind of a, it's not a buffalo check, but it is a red and white kind of plaid because I am super obsessed with that right now. So my idea for the felt um, trees actually came from in an odd place, like everybody else doing a ton of like embroidery type pictures and um, doing like taking a, a background cut file and doing it all with stitching or a title all that way and I look at it and I love them but I, I just don't think I will ever actually get one done but I had this idea to use some of the leftover felt to add <clears throat> felt to the layout and I, it's not anything original like this isn't anything nobody else has done before but I just wanted to add something other than maybe just some chipboard trees or something like that because you know that's you know I didn't want to do a cut file either because I do lots of cut files on their own so I wanted to do uh, something with a lot of texture and softness and that it would look cozy so I chose to do the felt and I loved it it was primarily because of the the mustard and the gray and the beige that I wanted to do it so I have these pictures of my son, it was actually, I don't know, I'm going to say three years ago, at least, and we were out picking out our Christmas tree, and it was actually snowing, and my daughter was really young, there's not many pictures, I think she was just a little over a year old when we did this, so I do have some pictures of her, but they, I'm kind of splitting up the pictures, I'm not putting them all on the same page as one, uh, as one layout like they'll all have their own layouts so there's a couple of my daughter with my husband walking and because the colors were so different than him than my son in his moose hat 
uh, and everything, I decided to to scrap these on their own. And this is my laziness coming through because right beside me, I could have easily turned on my glue gun and glued these down, which was my original intent because I didn't want to use um, any kind of real liquid glue because it would seep through. Um, and I didn't have any liquid glue because I'm out of Tombow right now. And I didn't get Tombow in my stocking. So I'm going to have to buy some when I'm at my at Michael's next, um, which will be tomorrow because I work tomorrow. So, And I work at Michael's, so yay, I'll be there for our, what do you call it, Boxing Day stuff. There is like something up at the top in my on the top left hand side and it keeps like creeping in closer and closer it's freaking me out because I'm not moving it anyway just <laughs> just wanted to get in the shot um I decided not to put stump um like the stumps on the trees or anything like that I just left them that hexagon one two three four five six hexagon I think is is a six-sided um shape I think anyway that also came from that Heidi Swap kind of December daily um, project kit that I just bought on clearance. And I bought it primarily for the for everything that it came with. And then I opened it up and it was like a six ring binder. And every like six by eight um, page protector that I had bought to do my some mini albums with were just two holes so then I would have to punch through the plastic and punch more holes and then I realized that I really didn't want to do that at all uh, that did not sound fun so I decided to buy uh, a different mini album and it's just red like leather so I'm not really sure how I'm going to decorate it and you know I don't know maybe I will go back to that but the idea of taking every single page protector and having to punch like four more holes and of course the holes that were there they don't line up so then I have to like make those holes bigger and it just ugh, it's an effort ugh. Um, <laughs> but I'm not doing an actual December daily um, I'm doing like a mini album so I have barely even started it it's probably something I will work on more after Christmas uh, just on its own when I have time so I wouldn't be filming the process but maybe I will do like next year I will walk it through um, like here's what I made last year oh you waited the whole year to watch it aren't you happy and excited that sounds awful <laughs> I sound awful today <laughs> um, it's been a while since I've done one of these so I'm gonna use that deer head and I'm going to stick it down and then I'm going to take it back up again because I find these Amy Tangerine like pieces of wood that came from, I think it came from a kit, but it came from an older line of hers. So I get this idea while I'm watching random people do process videos and stamp. I think I was watching Victoria Calvin. I think anyway I so I decide the white is too white up at the top it needs something and I don't feel like putting a ton more paper pieces or anything like that so I thought well I'll just make another kind of pattern paper and I wanted to make to bring in some more green originally I wanted to bring in yellow that mustardy yellow but I don't have anything so I'm just doing a test stamp and this is like a ditto stamp pad I do not like it it was really I don't know what the word is juicy and as opposed to being like a dark olive green the green was more I don't know baby snot baby like it was just not a good green so it's this little set of trees and it came in a stamp set from October afternoon from an old um, one of their old lines uh, from like two at least two years ago their Christmas line and had mice and deer and different things like that and I bought the whole set when Scraptastic had a sale a long long time ago 
and I don't stamp. So you can tell because I didn't really put much effort into it. Um, I didn't think it all through and I couldn't find my little stamp acrylic block. So I had to use my big acrylic block. And I'm going to put those stars in and I, in the final picture, you'll see there's more paper up above the picture because I messed up the journaling. So I'm obviously going to have to write my journaling on strips of paper and stick it in. And I do struggle a lot with trying to find the right font, like the right thickers that I want for it and stuff like that. But I did kind of skip through some of that because it made the video extra long to be doing all that. And I don't end up any, end up adding in that car. So maybe I'll add it into something else. Maybe my mini album when we go looking for a tree or something. I'm using this chartreuse Heidi Swap because it's a nice olive green. And I'm manually adding dots. <laughs> so, and of course I had to add in my favorite Baker's Twine, the red and, red and white. And the Mary and all the chipboard pieces or the like cardstock pieces are from the collection from my mind's eye, Comfort and Joy. And it's, it's a, a, I didn't buy any of the paper, but I bought all the ephemera and I love it so much. So I actually want to buy more Christmas stuff now that stuff's hopefully back in stock in places because none of it was in stock. And I was like, well, I'll just wait till after Christmas and get all the stuff that I really liked. And I love that it says fresh trees right on top of the trees. I just think that's really cute. So this is a nice simplistic layout again. I've done a lot of boy layouts too lately. I've just been kind of on that kick where I haven't really wanted to grab anything flowery or overly feminine. So I've been going with that. And I think it's a fancy pants um, thicker that I end up going with. They were the ones from the summer. They were wood but they looked like they were dipped. By the way on the left but I try these ones first. On the left hand side, those thickers, those really wide ones, they are my favorite ever. And I'm not putting that lightly. They are my favorite. Um, you don't, you can't get them anymore because they're super old, but they just, I just love them. Anyway, I know I fade out here really quickly without like waving or any of that stuff. So hope everyone had an awesome holiday. No matter what you celebrated, um, blessed Yule, uh, Merry Christmas, um, Happy Hanukkah, uh, Happy Kwanzaa to whatever you celebrate over the holiday season. Or if you don't celebrate anything, I hope you had a good time doing whatever. And I hope you guys will join me in the new year um, for lots more process videos. Hopefully I'll have more up before the new year, but just in case. Um, thanks for subscribing. This has been an awesome year of making videos. And I've had so much fun and I love all you guys. So I'll, thanks phone. <laughs> I'll see you in the next process video. So awesome pictures coming up. Bye.